So this is how you engineer the electrical for a basic food truck. Two lights in the exterior, both sides. We got 50 amp, 250 volt inlet here, a weatherproof cap. Use a twist lock connector from the generator uh, to power this. That's the main power source right there. This is just an outside receptacle, GFCA. Here we have, in case the customer wanted to hook up an outlet uh, you know, to a nearby store or uh, retail location to not run off the generator if you wanted to. So here is the 20 amp inlet. Um, you know, 125 volt, 20 typical power inlet right here, weatherproof. Inside, 50 amp comes in behind here, runs up to a disconnect. Square D, this I think was a 70 amp disconnect. A uh, 50 amp main breaker in here feeds this panel. There's going to be a coffee, coffee food truck with a uh, 20 amp 250 breaker for the espresso machine. Then we have um, every every breaker is 20 amp. It has this independent GFCI uh, outlet on there. It's got a 15 amp lights. Uh, the lighting. We have a switch for the interior eight foot led and a switch for the four exterior lights um down below here so this is where your 50 amp inlet comes in this is the uh, gfci on the other side by code you have to have access back here and then uh this is the the regular power 20 amp 125 volt um inlet behind here and that comes up to this breaker this disconnect which I believe is a, uh, a 30 amp disconnect with a, a 15 amp breaker on there because in case whatever he's hooking up to uh, is only 15 amps I didn't want the 20 amp breaker here to cause an overload at the 15 amp breaker that he's hooking up to at the residential or commercial location that he's running the uh, the cord from so we kept this at 15 amps for the breaker and then this goes to these two bottom outlets underneath the windows here and these are completely separate independent circuit completely independent from the rest of the power supply completely independent from the 50 amp inlet doesn't connect in any way with the uh the panel up there so um and the ground in both instances the ground is not bonded to the neutral uh you know you don't want to bond the ground to the neutral because the generator or the power source has the bonded um has the bond there so you don't want to you know just like you don't tie the ground and the neutral together in a receptacle box in your house you don't tie it here either in the dis either the disconnects or the panel so the panel feeds these top outlets each one of them has his own breaker so you can do 20 amp 20 amp breaker to each one of these 20 amp gfcis 12 gauge wire behind it uh same with these two over here and this receptacle is fed off of is slaved off of that GFCI over there. Then there's the um, 20 amp receptacle, 250 receptacle for the espresso machine right there. So that's just how to uh, engineer a basic food truck.